Hello, um, my name's Dina and I'm a high school math teacher and I'm going to walk you through how I use Haiku. This is my first year using it so I want to show you some of the things that I've done with my classes. It's because I teach different classes, I have different periods set up and I'm going to take you to an Algebra 2 class. Each of my pages has a welcome page and I've put up some pictures and I just think that things that make me happy. Um, I have a school photo here. Um, I have my husband who's also a teacher at the school. My son, our dog, scuba diving, um, puppies. This is also where I keep the syllabus and a collaboration rubric when we do group competencies, the kids have to do a student evaluation, so I keep that, that rubric here. I have a calendar that they can look at. Uh, you can put dates for tests or assignments or whatever, it's just a quick view calendar. This is my first time doing a discussion board. That's also on my welcome page. So my Algebra 2 students were doing exponents and logs, and I found an article on earthquakes and I attached it here for everyone to read and opened up a discussion board and asked these two questions. Now the problem with this is you need to discuss the appropriate use of citing works and academic language when the students are actually doing a discussion board. So that took me putting up an article onto the projector and walking through with them um, to show them what was appropriate and what wasn't. So here's just a couple. Um, we went through, there's a work cited, that's good. And we talked about we capitalize the words, we have complete sentences, the kids would like to go back into their text mode, how they do on their phones, and so um, we did that. It worked out really well. These are all units, so I have them categorized as units. So when it has this little arrow, my student um, evaluation discussion is here, but right here it's not published. So you can also put stuff under a unit that the kids can't see. So let me take you to my um, trig unit. I put a unit circle here. They had to do quizzes on the unit circle, so I attached one here so that they could practice. This is just an announcement of when our competency is. The assignments are here with everything attached. So you can see here's the article, Big Cities, Big Problems. Um, but I put the homeworks. And if you click on here, it takes you to what we did that day, what the assignment was, and um, some of them are scanned, some of them are copied, um, some of them go straight from my iPad and download here. So the kids have access to everything even if they don't have a book at home. Notes I put here, so if any of the kids miss them, th those mostly are from my iPad. Um, because I use that as a wireless notepad during class times. The other thing I've started doing is making videos for the students who are not in class. Now this I've been working on for a couple of years. It's very time consuming. So if I videotape a lecture while I'm explaining it, I go back and edit it so it's only about 20 minutes. So the kids can go back and watch the notes. Um, I have a unit circle review, Law of Signs Part 1, Law of Signs Part 2. Um, there are different videos I've been making the last couple of years. I started with second semester because that seems to be more difficult concepts for students. And so when they miss class, they're really behind. The other benefit from this is I've had teachers use this um, while they're out so the sub can play the video 
especially if the sub doesn't know the level of math and the kids can at least get the gist of it. Um, the other thing I've been doing is my students do a group comp and an individual comp, which would be a unit test. And then they have to do a discussion about how their team interacted together. So they're grouped three or four students, depending on how big the class is. And then after the test, they get online and they can only see the three or four people that they worked with. And using the rubric, they have to state um, how that person did. So Naima is talking about Angelo and this is what she said. And then Angelo had to reply based on that. And then I did an example. Now this took some time getting the kids doing this in class on computers, talking about it. Um, we're still working out some of the kinks, but it's a great way to get them engaged and on the computer and kind of talking to each other. So that's what this is. The other thing I've added is um, an SAT prep because this is a junior class. This is something new for me. And so um, I have a Quizlet that goes through a hundred of the most common SAT words. And you can just go through them and as fast as you want, as slow as you want, it tells you. It, you can click on this and it'll say it to you. You can scramble them and then they have different modes. So you can do flashcards, they have a speller, they have a scatter, so they have different games with it. The other thing is I went to the Princeton Review, US News and the College Board and got some articles on strategies that they recommend before taking the test. The other thing I wanted to do was I had kids actually studying. So I opened up a discussion board for the students who were actually reading the book and doing study sessions to add any tips or hints that they read in their book so that other people could come on and, and look at them. Um, I said that they could, you know, if they read something interesting, if they, they thought it was worthy, and these are the kids that did it. So that worked out really nice. The other thing I've been doing is um, our grade book does not link with Haiku. So instead of doing a whole second grade book, what I do is when I put the assignments in, I just mark this as a one or a zero. And the kids can go in, look at the date, if they have a one, that just means it's turned in. If they have a zero, that means it's missing. And so we've started kind of using this. This is not for an actual grade. This is just for them to check to see if they've turned it in. Like I said, I am new to Haiku. This um, was my first attempt at using it this year. I had a really good time with it. It is extremely user friendly. And there's a lot more it will do. So every year I'm just adding something else to it. So next year I would really add, like to add a collaborative piece. So the math department um, as a whole is going to put a problem a week up on the welcome page so that the kids can start a discussion about how they're problem solving. And the problem's gonna be just a little bit out of their reach so that somebody just can't do it, so that they're going to add tips and hints or how they're thinking about it. I hope this helped. Thank you.